Current news. Aviation regulator DGCA has approved Air India's long pending request to allow the same pilots to operate two types of Boeing wide body aircraft, according to officials. Initially, Air India can train a total of eight designated examiners for operating Boeing 777 and 787 aircraft. The world's first 3D printed rocket is scheduled to blast off from Florida on Saturday on the maiden flight of an innovative spacecraft, billed as being less costly to produce and fly. He government has appointed Siddhartha Mohanty as the interim chairman of Life Insurance Corporation of India, LIC, for three months starting March 14. As per reports, current LIC chairman Mr. Kumar won't get the extension. Hindustan Unilever Limited, HUL, today announced that Rohit Jawa will take over as the new managing director and CEO of India's largest FMCG company, from June 27, 2023. Rohit, 56, is currently the Chief of Transformation for Unilever in London. Sanjeev Mehta, the current CEO, will retire from the company. Rohit Jawa will join the company as CEO designate and whole-time director from April 1, 2023. Mohit Joshi has been appointed by Tech Mahindra, India's fifth-largest IT firm, as its managing director and CEO. Joshi resigned as president of Infosys after a 22-year stint at the country's second-largest firm. C. P. Gurnani, Tech Mahindra's current CEO and MD, is set to retire in December. Twitter CEO Elon Musk on Saturday said that he is open to the idea of buying the collapsed Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, and turning it into a digital bank. The head of Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Agency has raised the country's death toll from a magnitude 7.8 earthquake last month to 47,975. Iran has finalized a deal to buy Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets from Russia, state media reported, as defense cooperation between the two countries deepens.